Hello everyone. Welcome to our video on trigonometry. So this is, uh, if you haven't been here before, my name's Fred, this is AF Math and Engineering, and we are going to do a little bit of a theory video for you. If you're in high school right now, I think this will really help you if you're you know, in uh, the earlier grades, maybe nine or 10, when you're starting to get into this kind of stuff, where we're trying to find angles using relationships and using trig functions, then uh, this is the perfect video for you. Likewise, you know, if you're from another country and you've come to an English-speaking country, you know, I know it can be confusing, you know, some of the, the terms like adjacent and hypotenuse and opposite and, and theta and phi, you know, these aren't words that you're used to, okay? So this is kind of, the, the purpose of this video is to explain the different terms, okay, what they mean, and then we'll do a couple just really simple examples on how to use you know, sine, cosine, and tangent. Okay, so let's begin. So, right off the bat, uh, I'm gonna let you know what the main three trig functions are, okay? So we have sine, okay, we have cosine, and we have tangent. Okay, so those are our three main functions that we're going to be used, okay, using. We also have cosecant, secant, and cotangent. We'll get to that later. That's a little bit more complicated and it's not the point of this video. Okay, so there's uh, a way to remember how to use sine, cosine, and tangent in the triangle. And there's a little bit of an acronym. Okay, an acronym is just like a series of letters. And uh, we'll, I'm gonna get to that right after I explain how to use these, okay? But it's a good trick and I wanna show it to you. So. Let's take a look at our triangle here, okay? And we're gonna work from, like, from this angle here, from theta, okay? So this sign here, okay, that's equal to, we're gonna call that theta, okay? That's a Greek letter in the Greek alphabet. And usually, theta is used to represent an angle, okay? So an angle is, you know, a measure of the, kind of the, the arc distance between two lines, okay? And in this case, we have theta as here, okay? I also wanted to show you the sign phi, okay? So we have phi, that's also another commonly used uh, sign, all right? And phi is also another Greek letter and in the Greek alphabet. And if you have to solve a problem maybe using two angles, you don't wanna use the same symbol twice, okay? So you might use phi or you might use theta. So let's go ahead and let's work from uh, pretend that we're working from just here, and I just wanted to show you the, the phi letter, but we'll ignore that for now. So we're right here, okay? And say we want to, you know, know where we are with regards to this, this position on the triangle, okay? What do we call this side, what do we call this side, and what do we call that side, all right? So the long side of the triangle, okay, that we have right here, we have a 90 degree uh, triangle here, okay? And to use the trig functions that I'm gonna show you, the triangle needs to be 90 degrees, okay? If it's like more than 90 degrees, okay, we need to use different formulas, okay? So this is just gonna work for a 90 degree triangle. So, what is R here? Okay, so R, we're going to call our hypotenuse. Okay, so R is the hypotenuse, okay? So that's going to be R here. That is the long side of the triangle, okay? Remember that, all right? It's always gonna be the same. No matter where you are, which angle you're trying to figure out, the longer one is always going to be the hypotenuse, always going to be R. For Y, okay, if we're looking at it from theta, from here, okay, whatever's across from our angle here, so if we're kind of, we're kind of like looking at it in this direction, whatever is across, we're going to call the opposite, okay? So Y is our opposite. And finally, if we're still at our theta, okay, whatever is right beside the angle here that isn't the long side. So we have the long side here, that's our hypotenuse. So the other side of the triangle that's right beside theta, that's going to be called our adjacent. So that's the adjacent side of the triangle, that just means beside, okay? So let's start by writing out how we, were, how we would go about finding certain angles, okay? So if we wanted to find, for example, the angle here, okay, and we were given y and r, okay, we would say sine theta is equal to y over r, okay? So sine is equal to, sine theta is equal to the opposite side, which is y, over the, the hypotenuse, okay, which is r. Cosine theta 
is equal to, okay, adjacent, which is x over hypotenuse, which is r. And finally, and these are just formulas that you're just gonna have to remember, okay? And I'll show you how to remember them. Is so we have tangent theta, okay, is equal to opposite, which is y over adjacent, which is x. So we have y over x, okay? So you might be asking, you might be a little bit confused, what do I mean by this, you know? This, these are just methods, okay, in which you can, given the information on a triangle, you can find the variable that you're looking for, okay? And we'll show you how to do that in one second. So, the method in which we remember these, okay, we have an acronym, okay? And it's called so ka toa so ka toa okay? And there's an acronym. You know, we have our cameraman here, Abby. He's, uh, he's going to tell you the acronym for this. What is it, Abby? Some old horses can always hear the owner's answer. Some old horses can always hear their owner's answer, right? Okay, thanks, Abby, for that. So that is a way in which you can, and you can invent your own kind of uh, acronym, whatever you'd like, okay? As long as you remember it, okay? So we have sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. And if you always remember that, you'll never get this wrong, okay? So let's go ahead and let's use a triangle and this is just going to be the end of the video. And I'm going to show you how to apply these, these, uh, these formulas here in order to solve for the angle. Okay? So let's say we have a triangle here. Okay? And instead of using letters, we're going to use numbers now. So R, the hypotenuse, we're going to say that's 5. We'll say it's 5 meters. Okay? Y, our opposite side, and this is our theta. Okay? That's the angle we're looking for. Okay? So our Y is going to be 4 meters and our adjacent x is going to be three meters. Okay, so now we're using numbers, all right? And uh, let's go ahead and I'll show you how to solve this, okay? Using our calculators. So let's find theta using all three of these, okay? Because we're given each side. So let's start with sine, okay? So sine from theta, we're, we're going to remember our so, right? S-O-H, so sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so this is how we write it out. And I'm just gonna draw a line here so we can separate this. So we have sine theta is equal to opposite, our opposite side is four, over hypotenuse, five. Okay, so how we do this in our calculator is first we're gonna divide four by five, okay? And you should have a second function button on your calculator, okay? So your second function, okay, look for the sine button, and that's going to be the inverse sine, okay? So what that's going to do is that's going to give you the angle of theta. So how we did that, okay, I'll write it out for you. Okay, we'll come over here. So theta is equal to, so when you take sine and you move it to the other side of the equation, okay, we're gonna divide both sides by sine, so it's going to actually go to the bottom of the equation, okay? So it's going to be four over five, and then it's going to be like multiplying by one over sine, okay? And the sine is going to go up to the top, okay? So we have theta equals sine inverse of 4 over 5, okay? So that's just kind of like the proof for that. So, yeah, so we push sine inverse, and we get that theta is equal to 53.1 degrees, okay? So that's the answer. That's what theta is. And as you can see, if we do that with cosine, or we do that with... Uh, we do that with uh, tangent, we're going to get the same answer. Okay, so let's do it quickly. So we have cosine theta, okay, is equal to, and now let's try co apply co applying cosine to this triangle, all right? And we have, okay, adjacent, which is three meters, that's the adjacent side, the side beside theta, divided by hypotenuse, the long side, three over five, okay? And if we go ahead and you know, do exactly the same thing. We're going to divide 3 by 5, and we're going to second function cosine. And, well, look at that. We get exactly the same answer. All right, and tangent, let's do that one, and I'll just show you that it's exactly the same. Okay, so we have tangent theta is equal to, tangent is opposite over adjacent, opposite is 4 over 3, right? Once again, 4 divided by 3. Second function, 
Now we're going to use tangent and like I said, 53.1 degrees. So I hope that was helpful. You know, if you're under kind of having trouble, you just started this uh, topic in high school and you're not really understanding what is the adjacent, what is the hypotenuse, uh, that was, that's what this video was for, okay? So it's here to help you understand the words, understand the acronym, and how to apply these trigonometric functions to a, a triangle where you have numbers, okay? Maybe in the next video we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try and, uh, you know, maybe be given the, the angle and then we'll try and find the sides of the triangle. So that's something a little bit trickier. Thanks for watching, I hope this helped and uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed our video.